This is the Energize at Your Desk series. In today's video, I'll share a practice that will help you release any emotional pressure or tension that you might be experiencing while you're working at your desk. Anytime you feel some kind of emotional heaviness or heaviness in the chest area, try to practice these exercises and notice how you feel. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position. Just relax your shoulders completely. Rest your hands wherever they lie comfortably. And just go ahead and take a couple of breaths. Whatever you were working on, whatever you have planned for after this practice can wait. Just take a moment to reconnect to the body through the breath. Just create a little more awareness in the body. Come into the present moment through the breath. And breathe in and breathe out through the nose. And whenever you're ready, you can blink your eyes to open if you had closed your eyes. Wonderful. The first exercise that we will do is shaking the hands or shaking the wrists. So we're going to face the palms up. Okay, relax the shoulders. It's really important to relax the shoulders because when our shoulders are tense, it impedes the circulation of energy into the into the arms, into the hands, and the wrists are the mer connect to the heart meridian. Okay, so go ahead and relax the shoulders, face the palms up, and then go ahead and shake your wrists. And breathe in deeply, breathe out completely. We're just allowing energy to flow through the wrists into our hands. If it feels right for you, you can inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, sigh it out. Inhale, exhale. Good. Feel some pressure coming off your chest, off your heart center as you breathe deeply and keep shaking your wrists. Very, very simple exercise, but like I said, it relates to your heart center, heart meridian. So you're working directly with your heart meridian as you shake your wrists here. Breathe. Trust the process. Just allowing these meridians to open up, to have an energy flowing through them, if there was any stagnant energy there. All right, and now slow it down, slow it down. Breathe. And relax your hands. And just take a moment to notice your hands ignited with energy now. You might feel maybe some tingling, maybe some vibrations in the hands and your palms and just the skin of your hands and your wrists. Just notice that. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. And we'll continue working with the heart meridian or the heart center. The next exercise, for the next exercise, sorry, we're going to bring our hands next to the body. Okay, and loose fists facing up. Sit upright. Inhale here. On the exhale, stretch one arm across the chest. Pinky edge of the hand is facing up, palm faces away. And then squeeze the hand back into a fist and pull it right back to the starting position. Inhale here, and then on the exhale, reach. So this is the heart meridian right here. So we're reaching and then squeeze and pull. So it's the squeeze and pull action that acts as a pumping mechanism. So the heart is often called the ruler of blood. It pumps blood into every cell of the body. So here what we're doing, creating this second pumping mechanism to take pressure off our heart. Reach. Exhaling, inhale, pull. Keep going. 
and find some kind of a water-like fluidity in your movement as you breathe through them. Exhale, inhale, squeeze and pull. No tension in the neck or the shoulders. Keep breathing here. Let's do this a few more times. As you see, you don't need much for this. If you're at your desk, you can perform these exercises seated at your desk whenever you feel like you need some movement, you need to get energy flowing through your arms, get some pressure off your chest, off your heart center, find some emotional freedom. The heart center relates to emotions or emotional freedom. Good. Let's do one more round each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Very good. And relax your arms, relax the shoulders. Take a breath here. And we'll do one more exercise. And this time we're going to work with the lower body. But what's very interesting is that it relates once again to our heart. How is that we're going to work with our calves. So our calves in Chinese medicine um, relate to the heart because they say it is said that um, they're the second heart helping pump energy into the legs or helping circulation in the legs. So we're simply going to lift the heels high up, come onto the balls of our feet. And then imagine you have a pump and you're pressing your heels down. Inhale to reach up, you'll feel your calves contract. And then slowly press the heels down. Up and down. So whenever you feel that you've been sit, um, sitting for a long time and there's not much circulation in the legs, this will help you just to pump some energy into the legs by activating the calf muscles. And we're going to do one more thing that's probably one of my favorites <laughs> that's really, really going to help you feel um, the circulation improving. Good. And you can even hold it for a second or two at the top. So let's try that out together. Lift and hold, hold, hold. Make sure the big toe mount is pressing down into the floor so you don't want your ankles to splay out this way. And release. Good. And now coming to the last practice, you're just going to gently knock on your calves. Okay, so knock on your calves. The, the calves are big muscles and actually they're made up of three muscles so you want to make sure you're reaching the whole calf from the bottom to the top here and just knock 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 you can do that on both your calves if leaning forward is not very comfortable go ahead and bend your knee bring the ankle over the other knee and just go ahead and knock the calf waking it up <laughs> getting energy to circulate here Good. How does that feel? I bet it feels really good. I love doing this. Good. And now release, relax. Notice how your upper body feels and notice how your lower body or the legs feel. Hopefully you feel a lot more circulation. You feel your whole body a little more alive than it was before you started this practice. And what I love about these practices is that you don't need much. And that makes us realize how powerful our own body is. We are our own medicine. We can pre prevent illness, disease by tuning in or tapping into this power that our body has, the healing power, the healing capacity. Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.